Hello, my name is Steve. Welcome to this ginger shot about semantic optimization. Semantic optimization makes your workloads more efficient. This in turn improves overall system performance and scalability. Perhaps most importantly, your users can express their problems in a way that is logically clear to them, regardless of the shape of the graph or the distribution of the data. They get to spend more time solving the business problem and less time worrying about how to write the most performant query. Think of the semantic optimizer as an algorithm designer. In a navigational graph system, this algorithm design falls to the query author or to a human expert helping the author. And it often falls back to the vendor, who may even rewrite the query in the graph database's internal implementation language. In RAI's relational knowledge graph system, the semantic optimizer takes input rel queries and rewrites them to get the same results, but with less intermediate data or fewer calculations. These rewrites exploit the graph's schema, knowledge, and ontology to generate an optimal rel program. The rewrites are mathematically provably equivalent to the original queries and thus will return the same results. This provable equivalence is dependent on having an entirely deterministic query language, such as rel, operating against a relational data model. The original queries are rewritten to refactor and reorder calculations to reuse work and minimize computation. These rewrites leverage mathematical axioms, objects, and properties about rings, semi-rings, tensor decomposition, lattice theory, and more. And these rewrites leverage the graph's metadata, relationships, and integrity constraints. There are no hard-coded optimization rules, and queries are not optimized in isolation. The full collection of queries is taken as a whole. The semantic optimizer leverages the knowledge in the graph to narrow the space of optimal query rewrites. This process cannot reasonably be accomplished by any number of human optimizers. This means that when subject matter experts model their domain expertise as business rules and integrity constraints, this knowledge gives the semantic optimizer more to work with. The rewritten candidate queries are equivalent to the original and produce the same results. But how do we know which candidate runs fastest? Runtime estimation is based on what we know about the data distribution in the graph, which is then used for cardinality estimation. Let's revisit why this matters to your business. In many organizations, query authors are experts at their own scientific or business domain, say drug research or retail search and recommendation. But they are less likely to also be experts at graph analytics, the performance nuances of a particular navigational graph query language, or of the graph data itself. Navigational graph databases may have cost-based optimizers, which simply choose the best execution plan for the query written by the author. So navigational graph databases require that either your query authors are graph experts, or that you have one or more human optimizers ensuring that the domain experts are getting the performance and results they need. These human optimizers are highly skilled resources whose time could probably be better spent on more meaningful work for the business. In contrast, semantic optimization transforms the author's collection of queries into better queries, and then the system chooses the best execution plan for them. Semantic optimization leverages the knowledge in your graph to improve overall system performance and scalability. It does this automatically, allowing your domain experts to focus on their areas of expertise. Semantic optimization relies on a deterministic query language and a relational data architecture. It cannot be done with navigational graph databases. In summary, semantic optimization makes anyone working with graph data more productive and effective. Thanks for taking this semantic optimization ginger shot with us. To learn more, please see our website for contact information and other videos.